What's up with her? She's been so happy the last few days. Look at her, humming while she's cleaning up. She never does that. Did she get a date or something? Huh. That'd be nice. If she brought someone home for me to scare, that is. Or if she got out of the house more. It's not healthy to spend so much time alone. Not that I care. What did she say? Today's the day? I guess it must be a date. Although, if she does bring someone home, it might be hard to only haunt them. Well, maybe she'll just think they're cursed or something. Oh, is that them? Kind of a weird time of day for a date. Whoa, look at her go. She's eager to see them, all right. Wait, it's two people. A delivery, maybe? No, she invited them in? A property assessment, then? Or renovations? What's that weird box that guy's holding? Okay, she's signing something. Hmm. I want to get a closer look, but I don't know if those two will be able to see me. And the last thing I need is her hearing that there's a ghost here. What are they saying? Agree to have a ghost reside in the home. Oh shit, did she figure out I'm here? Are those guys trappers? What the hell? I thought she wanted ghosts in her house. Wait, no, they're opening the box? What the? No way! She got someone to bring her a ghost? You've got to be kidding! Well, she certainly found a good-looking ghost. But that doesn't matter. She's totally gonna blow up my spot. They're talking to her. How oh, great they can see ghosts. Ugh, what am I supposed to do? Ugh, she's going to have a look around. Damn it. I guess I don't have a choice. How the hell am I supposed to scare a ghost? Wait, where'd she go? Ah! What? How'd you sneak up on me? I wasn't talking to myself. Why are you here? I had a good thing going. She adopted you? What? You can do that? Huh. Wish I'd known that. Surprised she didn't do it earlier. Yeah, as far as she knows, the house isn't haunted. But I've been here the whole time. I just haven't been doing spooky stuff. It's not that I don't want to. I'm just waiting for her to leave. Because... She gets weird about it. Weird as in... Her reactions are all off. One time I creaked the attic door and she straight up bolted towards it. It's not much fun to haunt if the person you're haunting never gets scared. Why stay? Well, not that it's any of your business. But she fixed the place up pretty nicely. The lights aren't too bright, and the decor is passable. And even if she does notice that I'm here, she won't try to get rid of me. There's not many places a ghost can stay that won't kick you out immediately. I know that's why she redid the house like this. But she could at least act scared. That's not the point. I know she'd be fine just knowing I'm here, even if I didn't do anything scary. But... I don't want her to know. Because... She'd try to act all friendly and annoying. Do you have any idea how long it takes to talk through a Ouija board? She'd run herself ragged trying to communicate with me. It's too much pressure. Not that I'd want to be friends with her anyway. Writing... I... I can't do that. I can't move physical objects very well, okay? Oh, well, good for you. Not everyone's as experienced as you are. 
don't need you to teach me. I can figure it out on my own. Not that I will, because I don't want to talk to her. Or you. Besides, you can't teach me because you won't be staying here. You heard me. I don't need another ghost around here taking up space. This is my house. Yes, it is. I died here. It's mine. So you are going to go back down to those trappers, tell them you don't like the house, and that you want to leave. And you aren't going to mention me at all. Got it? You won't talk about me. Good. Now get going. <sighs> Thank goodness. Okay, let me sneak a peek. I hope she isn't too disappointed. But that ghost cannot stay here. Wait, what? Why isn't she leaving? No, don't go! Take her with you! Hey, what the hell are you still doing here? You said you would... You didn't mention me. You were supposed to say you wanted to leave. You don't want to. You... This is my house. I don't care how pretty you are. You can't stay here. I said creepy. You're creepy. And you need to leave. What are you doing? Flickering the lights. Ugh, how cliche. Ah, oh, great. Now you got her all excited. See that dumb look on her face? She does that every time anything vaguely supernatural happens. Well, of course she looks happy. She is. Way too happy to be fun to haunt. Really kills the mood. Cute? I wouldn't know. I'm not interested in the living. What? You meant me? I'm not cute. No, I'm not. Just the sight of me causes immense psychological trauma. I'm not cute. Obviously, it doesn't affect you. You're also a ghost. If she could see me, she'd be quaking in fear. None of this charmed by the paranormal crap. Try being scarier. What do you mean? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not trying to give her a heart attack. I mean, I do want her to be scared. But not that scared. I'm not even sure if half of what you said is legal. Why would I... I don't care. <sighs> Fine. You'll see. I'll really freak her out. She's gone back to the kitchen. This'll be easy. Okay, maybe not that easy. Come on. Shut up, I can totally pick up this knife. Oh, come on, stop phasing through. Got it. Now, just gotta keep my grip and... Ugh. Huh. See? Now she really looks... What the hell? She fainted? Don't congratulate me. She could be seriously hurt. I didn't think I'd scare her that bad. I didn't want this. You're the one that can touch things. Get over here and tell me if she still has a pulse. Wait, what are you... Did you just... Wait, she's waking up. You can possess her? Whoa, that's so freaky. Her eyes are almost completely white. But anyway, can you tell if she's alright? <sighs> Good. At least she didn't hit her head that hard. Yeah, go lie her down on the couch. Man. Shut up. I didn't want to scare her that much and you know it. I'm going back to the attic. Damn it.
That's right, it's a series now. This one's for you, ladies. Thank you, Super K, for the coffee donation.